What's going on guys and welcome to Rift Breaker. Today is a very special video because yes, it is brought to you by XOR Studios, the developers of the game. They are kindly sponsoring this video because they've just released a new DLC called Metal Terror which is bringing a new biome to explore called the Metallic Valley. There's also a new survival mode scenario, new weapons, new creatures, which brings in herbivores and yes, bloodthirsty predators looking for that territorial domination. There are likes of new weapons, which you can defend your base with new varieties of defense towers from the likes of lightning guns, heavy plasma cannons, and even a chainsaw. So if you are interested in the game, there will be a link in the description below, as well as the Metal Terror DLC. So go down there and give it a click. So without further ado, some of you know that I have played this on the Twitch streams. So if you want to see that, I will be live streaming this on the 22nd of July, which will be this Friday. And I do have to apologize, my voice has gone. As you can tell, I've got quite the sexy voice right now. So. That is because I was at TwitchCon at the weekend and I've been super busy this past month. So without further ado um, and all that over with, let's jump in to the new DLC. Okay, here we go. We are just rift jumping into the Metallic Valley. Rift jump successful. Oh, wow. Above normal, but within safety limits. Amazing. This place looks like a completely different planet. The plants and rocks look like they've been fused with the heavy metals yep. that are so abundant like the met here. Met metals are taking over. Oh, cobalt. Pulses. It is difficult to assess where they originate from. I need some time to gather more readings. Okay, Mr. Riggs. In the meantime, we can walk around and explore the area. Okay. Let's have a bit of scout like uh, Mr. Riggs says. Well, we can kind of see, like, obviously all the, the rocks are like metal and the flowers and all that are kind of these? stuff. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hello. Wings and That's a new enemy. But the majority of their bodies is organic. This is very odd. Watch out for this species, Ashley. It looks very aggressive and can fly over terrain obstacles. Oh, so they'll be able to go over the walls and turrets. I'm just wondering, though, if my flamethrower is not going to be able to do much against these, because... Oh, I suppose it is, it is, um... It is burning the ground. And again, apologies, guys. You might hear my voice break a few times. Uh oh. Is this a drone or a creature? It doesn't look natural. He hello. These flying round creatures are biomechanical hybrid organisms. However, I would not classify them as typical cyborgs. I cannot see a clear distinction between I think organic and mechanical. Explosives are going to be pretty good against these. Function perfectly together. They either evolved this way or they've been bioengineered. Both options are Oh my god, I'm missing. Disturbing. There we go. Let's see what other curiosities we can find here. We got some cobalt. We're not coming up against any candium. More of them over here. I do have my missile barrage. Which does this. Causing an airstrike. At the location where my cursor is and for those that don't know what this game is basically you land on a planet and you have to build your base through grabbing ores all that kind of stuff make up your armories build your base up build defenses um and it's not a it's not a bad game like i really like this game like we've streamed it a few times oh my god they're extremely fast let's just heal up real quick Yeah, they, them are going to be a pain in the butt. Can I kill this? Oh, I can. Is that going to damage me? Okay, there we go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that was a delayed air strike. I forgot about that. Whoa, whoa, they're big boys. They are big boys. They got resistance to explosives. Oops, wrong button. Okay, fire is pretty good against them, so explosives aren't. 
They're basically like tanks. Let's take out the nest. There we go. Bulbous Aculeus Rubidi. I have finished analyzing the dark energy wave patterns. There are at least a few strong emitters within this area. I have marked the location of the strongest one on your map. We should go there first. Okay. Okay. This valley looks alien on an alien planet. Let's see what we can find here. Oh, we got some um... <laughs> iron. Got a geothermal vent here. But we've got to head, like, northwest. We are doing, obviously, doing the campaign part of this. I could have done the survival. Uh, and just doing, like, a free-for-all. But I kind of wanted to just see what the story was going to be like for this. Oh, they're faster. They're, like, the smaller versions. Okay, we're pretty close now. Wait, do I... Should I go this way? Let's go this way instead. Oh. Okay, we're pretty close. They've got some uh, carbonium here as well, so... This might be a good place for us to start maybe building a base. I would think. Look at these structures. Jeez. These aren't natural. They must have been made by an advanced civilization. I can even see the some metal wreckage. people. Are these remnants of an ancient native civilization or has someone visited this planet before us? This raises so many questions. Ashley, this is a very significant discovery. It could change the classification of our entire mission to Galatea 37. We need to conduct a thorough analysis of okay. these objects. Let's build a research station. Procedures. I know. Secure the area. Construct a research station near the archaeological site. Assess if the find poses any threat to the expedition. Okay. Let's get rid of get rid of these foliage as well. What about the dark energy wave emissions? So we got room to move. Are they coming from these ruins? No. The source of these emissions seems to be hidden behind the alien structures, somewhere within that crater. Okay. As soon as we finish analyzing these structures, we'll need to find a way inside there. The Actually, let's get some... Construction. I am detecting movement in the planet's orbit. This cannot be a coincidence. We should prepare to defend this site. This okay. doesn't look well. Oh, there's not much carbonium here. Purposefully controlling objects in the sky, then we might be dealing with an active presence of a um, civilization. I'm starting to get worried about this. Don't worry, Ashley. Get prepared. Okay, forget that. Let's get a let's get some solar panels down. I know it's nighttime right now, but this is gonna get a little farm going. And we'll get some wind turbines as well. And then we're going to get some miners down. Get some uh, ionium. Get one there. Get one there. And let's put some the carbonium ones down. One there. One there. One there. And one there. That'll do. Right, let's connect up these with power. So let's just kind of go with you. Warning. I'm detecting a fast moving horde of creatures uh -oh. heading towards our outpost. An attack is imminent. Oh, what is this? Alien building. I need to get some defenses up. Uh, I've got a radar. I can't. I need AI cores, so we're going to need to put down an AI hub. Let's get two of them down. And then let's get some walls being built real quick. I don't know where they're going to be coming from, though. Let's get some power to these. Uh, prepare for an incoming attack. We've got 50 seconds. Set the research station. 41 out of 300 health. Um, let's get some more hubs down real quick. And, and let's get some more turrets. 
I know we'll get we're building them, it's fine, hurry up. Let's get some more on this south side. And then I'm gonna put some um artillery towers down as well. Oh, I could do a rocket tower. Actually, no, because they're um the what's it called, aren't they? Let's just kind of put one there. One there, one there, and one there. Alright, let's see how this goes. I should really put down a door for me to at least get out. On this side and this side. Otherwise, because I, I can't shoot through this. Whoa. Where are they coming from? And we've lost power. Oh, there we go. Base is under attack. Oh, they're coming from the north. Oh my god, really? Of course they are. has been destroyed. Oh, of course they come from the north. Give me some turrets. Not enough AI cores. Build more AI hubs. Jeez Louise. I definitely need uh, energy storage. Uh, let's just kind of put this here right now. Because we kept having blackouts. Uh oh. Let's also build this up here now as well. Is this another wave? It is. We're attacking the walls. Give me that. Give me some turrets. There we go, that'll do. Jesus. Gets a little crazy, doesn't it? Protect the research station 96. Power the research station until it is finished the scanning process. Oh, we've got quite a bit to go yet. They're going to keep coming from this north, aren't they? So, let's get some more of you guys down. This allows me to put more turrets down. Uh-oh. We're out of power as well. Give me that power. Oh, we're way down out of power. Oh, now what? Are they attacking from the north again? Oh my god, they are. This is just pure chaos. Yeah, I kind of knew that was coming. There is a breach in our walls. I know I'm out of ammo, I'm out of ammo. Oh my god. Oh, 
Oh my bloody god. <sighs> right, time to reset power. Give me that carbonium one again. Let's get that back up. Defenses, walls. Let's get you up. Let's fortify that wall so it's double. And let's bring up some power up here as well. Okay, we've got no power up here as of yet. The research station is halfway through gathering data. Okay. So we've got some defense up here now at least. Let's get some artillery weapons in here. And let's double that wall. Well, not let me build it there. It won't. Okay, let's put that down there then. Build you down there, and then let's put you into there, and then build some platforms just here. And I can shoot all the now as well, at least. This is a long mission. Let's get some more rifle weapons down. We gotta hold the fort. I think we've actually pretty decent now. These are giving us some pretty decent power at least. We're bringing in a lot of power right now, which is what we was missing before. So we do have a doorway here I can jump out. It does mean I can get out here, grab as much as we need. I wonder if there is a nest up here. I'm in. Dude, can I not get in? Wait. I'm stuck outside. <laughs> Let me in. No, I'm going to have to um, put it down here. Are we expecting another wave? Because the artillery should. I suppose we can put down a radar. Uh oh, here we go. Here it comes. We're attacking the south side. Oh, they was. And then we need to put down a liquid pump. And then water filtering plants. And it's going to go into here, right? It's going to go into there. Let's just kind of put you down. And then bring that down here. Incoming attack. Okay, there we go. I even put a thing down. Oh, 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 oh. Defend! A lot of them do seem to come from this way.
I do have to approach the alien structure, which is this one. It's working. What is it doing? Whoa. The ground is being covered with metal plates. It's terraforming. The barrier that was guarding the entrance to the crater has just been assimilated by that metal surface. Whoa. Was that a gate left here on purpose? The dark energy emissions are coming from within that crater. Let's go inside. The structures inside this crater are amazing. That was kind of cool. How it rippled damaged, like that. But they give me the feeling as if they could come back to life at any moment. The dark energy readings are strongest at the center of this crater. Mm -hmm. Something powerful was here, but there is not much left. These aliens must have been able to manipulate unknown forms of dark matter and dark energy. The morphium liquid looks like some kind of power source. It provides both matter and energy to their structures. Would it be possible to replicate some of this technology without fully understanding how it works? Yes. The research station scanned the alien structure thoroughly, and our printer drones can replicate it with minor modifications. If we connect it to a morphium pipeline, it will operate. Based on initial analysis, the structure that opened the gate to this crater has multiple purposes. It is a defensive tower, but it also covers the ground around itself with a metallic surface. This influence area assimilates most smaller objects that it touches and serves as a power generator. It probably served additional purposes for the aliens, but we don't know enough about that. These towers will not require an additional energy supply, nor AI cores to operate. This can prove very useful if we can find more pools of morphium. It could make securing remote bases very easy because we could have the morphium towers up very quickly without the need to set oh, up yeah. centers and a full power grid for them. Give me morphium towers. A crude way of transforming morphium into a power source and build morphium power plants. A Can I do that? Technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Ooh. That's interesting as well. Before we venture out further, it looks like it would be a good idea to set up a solid outpost in this area. Yep. There's a lot of ironium and cobalt in this valley. We'll do it we right here. Advantage of that. That is a very good idea, Ashley. As soon as we secured a solid outpost, we've got the we power for it. So the remaining dark energy wave emitters I detected in this area. I have marked their approximate locations on your map. Some of the hostile creatures that are present in this biome are capable of traversing over canyons and lakes. We have to take that under consideration when placing our defenses. Oh, okay. To secure our base from all sides. Does that mean this Sunlight mountain as well? Dimmed in this metallic valley, and there's a lot of strong wind currents. The weather is a bit more volatile here. I think it would make more sense to build wind turbines in this biome. However, we should back them up with a lot of energy storage capacity to mitigate the changing weather conditions. Okay, so guys, that the is going to be... Is do, you, do you mind? Select new technologies for development. I, I know, I know, but we're going to do that in another video. We're going to do that in another video, Mr. Briggs, Biggs, Diggs. I, don't, I forgot his name. But guys, if you want to check out my other content, check out, the, uh, check out this right here, but also... If you want to do pick up Rift Breaker, check it in the link in the description below. It can be a little chaotic, as you can tell, and it is very fast paced. So if this is your sort of game, I would highly recommend going to pick it up and going from the campaign from the start, which is what we might do in the future. So let me know, like, subscribe, comment if you want me to continue or even do a, a playthrough on this. Um, but I definitely will be playing this on stream with the stream integration, which means that you guys in chat can control my waves. Yes. So I'll see you in another video. Danger. Much. Wait. No. No. Us. Retreat. Retreat. Right. I'm out of here. Peace. He's smiling. <laughs> Bye. New technologies are